Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video of my investing basics series. Whether you are just getting started on your investing journey or if you have some experience, it's always a good idea to refresh your knowledge on some basic investing terms. When it comes to your portfolio, including your 401k, there are a number of different investment vehicles that you can choose from. Today I'm going to go over the differences between stocks and bonds. Stocks represent ownership. When you purchase stocks, you purchase shares issued by corporations. Owning stocks give you the right to vote in shareholder meetings, sell your shares to someone else, and receive dividends, which are the company's profits, if and when they're distributed. When a company does well, its stock generally does well. When the company doesn't do so well, its stock generally doesn't do well either. And there are a number of different types of stocks, including large cap companies, mid cap companies, small cap companies, international companies, and emerging companies. Compared to bonds, stocks are considered more risky. However, with that risk comes a potential for more return. Bonds represent a loan to a government or a company. And in return, they'll pay you interest for that loan, usually on a semi-annual basis. Bonds are typically considered to be more conservative or less risky than stocks as you have the ability to choose the length of the term and you know exactly how much you will get at maturity. So at the end of the length of the term or at maturity, that's when you will receive your principal back. And there are a number of different types of bonds that you can choose from, including government, corporate, long-term, short-term, and municipal, and many more. You risk losing money on a bond when the company or government that issued the bond defaults or goes bankrupt. It's important to keep in mind that investing is a long-term process. It's about time spent in the market, not timing the market. When creating your portfolio, make sure that you consult with a financial advisor that understands your risk tolerance and your financial goals so that you can create a portfolio that has an appropriate mix between investments such as stocks, bonds, and other available choices. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's connect on social media. If we haven't already, if you have any questions, send me a message. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next week.